two hobby horses here, they're both made using the same pattern shapes. This one is made using twill fabric and this one using spoon flower faux suede fabric. I have some fit issues with the bridle. Even though they're exactly the same, I use the same directions, follow the same directions. This twill tape is stiffer and wider than this one. This one's a lot softer and narrow and it appears to have stretched a little as it, I did the sewing. So this length may actually be longer than this one. I've also got a problem here. The D-ring has turned. So that's in the wrong position and so it's making it look a lot looser. So it's, it's loose all over really. So I need to swing this back around to the correct position which is like that so that the straight part of the D-ring is on this strap. Now I'm imitating a D-ring snaffle which would normally have the straight part of the D where the bit comes in but because it's a toy if I did that it might sag down like that which which is not appropriate and doesn't look very nice so it's designed to have the strap in that position. Now you might need to add a stitch here or a stitch or two in that position there there and there to keep these tighter so that they really hug the metal of the D-ring. The bit may need adjusting, it might be too long, you might have to make that a little bit shorter. The other correction you can make is to shorten the pole strap, the one that goes behind the ears. Uh, just undo one end and cut it back so it's shorter and then do the usual turning so that fits better. If the chin strap still is too long, you can add an extra piece of Velcro or can loop tape to both ends so that it will potentially do up tighter. So that solves those problems. And if you happen to have used a different D-ring, see these two here, they're the same width that way but one's obviously longer here than the other, that will also cause problems because there's extra length of fabric on this strap that shouldn't be there. You need to remove that and make these straps shorter to adjust for a D-ring that's a lot deeper like that. If you've chosen a round ring instead, the same thing applies. You need to work out how much you need to shorten these straps so that you can have the normal turning as given in the instructions. So that's a few things to think about when making your bridle. It's better to pin it together and check for fit to see whether you need to adjust this strap and add extra Velcro. So that solves our fit issues. Uh, not all fabrics are the same, some stretch more than others and adjustments need to be made. The adjustments have been made to the bridle now. As you can see it's nice and tight there, pretty good there, tight there, and that's much better. And the bit has also been uh, replaced and sewn differently.